One exciting discovery that we made during examination is the presence of an inscription, obscured, obscured by repainting, probably at the time that the sitter's attire was altered. You can get a sense of it in the upper left. Under just the right lighting conditions, um, a few characters are visible in the red drapery. So we went back to our tried and true technical imaging techniques that were at our disposable, disposal to see if we could render a legible inscription. And in the picture below, you may be able to just make out, it looks like a letter N, kind of in here, and perhaps a number six down here, depending on how you look at it. Unfortunately, neither infrared reflectography nor x-radiography proved useful in that pursuit. And here are details of the areas in question. And again, we couldn't see anything. Um, so what does that mean for us? It just means that whatever was used to create that inscription um, wasn't dense enough to block the x-rays, right? Or it was so similar to the paint around it that we couldn't see it in an x-ray. And in infrared reflectography, we couldn't see it because there was nothing in that inscription that would have absorbed the infrared light. So what were our options? We did notice very, very slight differences in surface topography um, around the area of the inscription. And as such, we opted to image the area using reflectance transformation imaging, or RTI. So what we do in RTI is we take kind of a stack of images, 40 or so in this case, um, of, the, of the surface from a stationary camera with different lights, different light positions. We throw all of those images into a computer and an algorithm kind of spits out um, information about the surface shape. And the end result is an interactive file that we can move around and see different surface shapes. Um, this is just a screenshot of one. Um, and again, you can start to see little bits of um, contours, the edges of the shapes. Again, this line might jump out at you right here kind of at the lower end of that end that we pointed out earlier. But there's also some other contours here that we can point out. Now, unfortunately, there was no one perfect image that showed the inscription in its entirety. However, in an act of desperation, we began tracing contours of figures in multiple screenshots. We repeated that process dozens of times <laughs> um, and overlaid the result, and um, a legible inscription presented itself, which is a really nice victory. Um, it was a case where kind of more traditional uh, imaging techniques provided no information, and we were able to, to pull out um, a, an important piece of information. And this is a really big deal. Um, it's, just, it's just a date, right? It says Anno 1619. It just gives the date of the painting. But it's a really big deal because it allows us to firmly date the painting. And um, there are so few of Van Dyck's early works that bear a date. There's just seven before this painting. Um, so this is the eighth.